Hello. What I'm going to do today is something that wasn't one of the uh, quest requests that I'd done, but it just popped into my head while I was doing my terminals tutorial uh, last time. But I'm going to do a quest that has multiple start points. So you find, you you know, find, you can either speak to an NPC and be given a quest, or find the thing that the NPC wants and have a quest objective appear that it's like go and give this to the person. So I'm going to create my NPC first. Much like I've always done in the other ones, just call it my NPC. Name it NPC. And okay, that's fine. I actually want to call it tutorial NPC, but I forgot about that. So I'm going to right click new in here to make a voice type. I'm going to call it tutorial NPC. Oh no, I should have called it tutorial voice. I'm all over the place apparently here. So let's look up now NPC to find the NPC we just made. And see, this is why I should have called it. Here we go, here he is. And just in voice type, I'm going to look up tutorial NPC because that was the name of the voice that I gave, even though it was a, a silly name. So now I'm going to create a terminal again because I'm going to have a quest objective where if you find the terminal first, it pops up and says, find someone who can make use of this data. And then if you find the NPC first, you'll be sent to get the data. So I'm going to do what I did to the last one. I'm going to duplicate Abraham Washington's terminal just because it's the first one. This is the tutorial terminal. Give it a unique ID. So I'm going to call tutorial terminal and give it a name. Tutorial terminal. So I'm not going to ha have it locked. I'm going to just right click new and have item text download data and I'm not going to create a note, I'm just going to have some result text show up so I'm going to say data downloaded and I'm going to press force withdraw force redraw so it will reevaluate all the conditions that I will put in a little bit later so now everything is created I'm going to place them in the wasteland let's wait for this to load might cut this out because it takes a little bit of a long time. Go to Springvale. Load up all these references, all these beautiful, beautiful references. Hit yes to all if that comes up. I think I'll definitely cut out that waiting, um, unless I forget. But here we are in Springvale. And things shall be placed. So, the tutorial terminal that I made before. I'm just going to place this in the world totally randomly. Ah. And then the NPC, it was called my NPC. So I'm going to scroll up to NPC. And here he is. There we go, click and drag him into the world. Like that. I just hit F and he falls straight to the ground. So now everything's placed in the world, we can begin working on the quest. So right click new, quest name, as always, tutorial quest. Give it an ID, tutorial quest lap. As long as it's unique, it can be anything. I'll hit start 55 and start game enabled. Now things are going to be a little bit different from past tutorials because I'm going to go for topic add new topic and I'm going to create a greeting as always and now I'm going to put hello how's it going and I'm only going to make one greeting uh, get his ID tutorial NPC oh he's not called by is he? it's called my NPC there he is, my NPC and so now all the conditioning is going to show up in the topic section so I'll now go and I'll define some quest stages. Stage 10, right click new. Set objective displayed tutorial quest 10 at 1. And now it's going to be a little bit different because it's not going to be quite as linear. Perhaps I'll define the objectives first just to give them a kind of visual idea of what I'm doing. So I'm going to first of all create objective 10. 
And now, it doesn't really matter what order of these go in, whether this is 10 or one, one that I'm going to do 20 is 10, but I'm going to say that 10 can be find someone who can use the data. And now I'm going to define an objective 20. Which is going to be find the data. So that's going to show up when you speak to the NPC first. So now I'm going to define a stage an objective 30. So we're going to be going a little higher than normal because this is going to go as high as 40. Um, because this is now going to be returned to the NPC. And then we're not going to have a 40 objective because 40 is going to complete this complete request. So now for stage 20, we're going to have set objective displayed tutorial quest 21, but we're not going to complete the objective for stage 10 because these will never show up at the same time, 10 and 20, because they're not like sequential. Now for stage 30, we're going to have set objective completed tutorial quest 21 and then set objective displayed tutorial quest 31 and then stage 40 this is the complete quest stage so I'll hit up complete quest then I will put in the standard as reward XP 200 and let's give the player a reward. Dot add item caps zero zero one. Compile result. I forgot to put a value in. So cap zero zero one should have been all one word and one hundred. That was my mistake. There we go. So now that's all the stages are set up. So I'm going to head back to the topics section now, and I'm going to add. I'm going to create two topics. I'm going to create tutorial topic one. Like that. And now I'm going to create tutorial topic two. Okay. Now tutorial topic two I will create first. So I'm going to right click new in here. And this is just going to be the goodbye topic. So I'm going to put goodbye. And I'm going to write see you later. You know anything that you said like say goodbye. I'm going to hit goodbye. And now what I'm going to do, this probably isn't necessary, but just to make it absolutely certain, I'm just going to change this one's priority to 49, which means that it will always appear at the bottom of the list because the other topic is priority 50. So priority 49 one will appear at the very bottom, just so that goodbye isn't like, this. it's more necessary for when you have a large list of conversations to keep the goodbye ones sat at the bottom. But um, that's what I'm going to do. Check goodbye, and now we're going to put a new condition in. Get his ID... My NPC. Okay. Blah. Now tutorial topic one is going to handle all of the topics for the uh, quest. So I'm going to create a new one now. Um, so state for stage ten. So I'll say yes. I was looking for that data. Have some money. So I'll just go copy this condition and paste it in and now we're going to add a new condition for get stage tutorial quest has to equal 10 for this to show up because as you remember stage 10 is find someone who can use the data so topic uh, 1 here it is I'll add a prompt so I found this data is it any use to you? And so now I'm going to put in this thing here. Set stage tutorial quest uh, 40. That was the complete stage. Right? Yep, there we go. Next up, um, I'm going to say um, the player will ask if he's got any work. Let's say that. Yes. I'd like you to get some data for me. The terminal is 
around here somewhere. Now for any of these, if you wanted to, you could check them as goodbye, but you shouldn't have to. It should bunt you back to a menu with only the goodbye topic on it. Uh, but So I'm not going to check any goodbyes. So I'm going to have the player say, as I said before, have you got any work for me? And now I'm just going to go back up here and copy all conditions. Paste in here. And now this one will show up if tutorial quest is less than 10 i.e. we haven't started it at all. And now we're going to set stage tutorial quest 20. Lap. So now um, you'll see tutorial quest 20 was find the data we set up there. Now we're going to create another new topic and this is for when the player has found the data. So thanks for getting that data for me have some money. I've got the data f for you here. Paste in the conditions again, only this time change the tutorial quest value to equals 20. And now we're going to set stage tutorial quest 40. Hold on. Change That should have been uh, 30, sorry, not 20. 30, because stage 30 will have been set when you pick up the data and it will be return, return to the NPC. So now for the greeting, we're going to go back to greeting and we're just going to add topics. Um, I'll filter for current quest only so you don't have to search. Tutorial topic 1 and tutorial topic 2. So now that should be all linked together and all the thingamajigs done here. So I'm just going to go over to objectives. Now, for the objectives for number 10, you can either leave it with nothing at all for markers, so the player has to you know, search for wasteland, or you can put a marker on. Um, I'm going to not put a marker on. So find the data. Oh, that reminds me, we need to make sure the terminal is a persistent reference, so I just double click it and check persistent reference here. So I'm just going to right click new, for a new quest marker here, select reference in vendor window, find the data like that. I don't know why it says abandoned serial, that will change. Return to the NPC, we're going to right click new and select reference in vendor window. NPCs are always persistent references, so there we go. And there we go. So those two are set up Spring Mail My NPC and Spring Mail Tutorial Terminal. Now we need to put the script in for the terminal. So I'm going to go back to the terminal now and just search Tutorial Terminal. So we're going to add conditions. So we're going to put a new condition. If now this is where I need to have a little bit of a think. Get stage tutorial quest. Now I could put if I put less than thirty, I just want to make I'm just gonna cut here while I have a little think about how to do this in the most efficient way. I think what I'm gonna do is have it be not equal when it doesn't equal ten and I'll copy and paste it in again and only when it's below 30 like that. I guess I could have done so that it, when it equals 0 and when it equals 20 probably would have done it yeah just anything that means that it only shows up during the t times when you can collect the data so now we're going to put in a result script. There's no need to do a begin or end section for this result script because it will only run when you click this. So we're going to put if get stage tutorial quest uh, is below 10. So i.e. if it hasn't started yet. Set stage tutorial quest. Ten, like that. For else if get stage tutorial quest is equal to twenty, set stage tutorial quest thirty, end if. Okay, that should be good. So now if it's below 10, i.e. if a quest hasn't been started at all, it will set stage 10, which was find someone who can use the data. 
If it was stage 20, which is where you are sent out by the NPC to collect the data, it will set stage 30 and you'll be sent off here. So that should be all good. Okay. I'm going to save because I'm going to go into the game now and play it as a demonstration. I desperately hope it already exists. Okay, to overwrite. Uh, no, I, I definitely deleted that ESP. Um, let's just call it instead. Let's call it Quest Tutorial. There you go. And now I'm going to go into the game and play the quest. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, you'll never see this tutorial. Okay, so here I am in game. I'm just going to start up the quest now by doing this. Download data. See, it went away because it was forced to redraw. Find someone who can use the data. It came up for about a second, and then that came up. Find someone who can use the data. Let's speak to this fella here. Hello, how's it going? So my options are, see you later. And you can just, like, see you later. Or I can say, I found this data. Is it any use to you? Yeah, I was looking for that data. Have some money. See you later. Goodbye. Quest completed. So now I will quick load. And I'm just going to do it the other way around now. Hello, how's it going? Have you got any work for me? Yes, I'd like you to get some data for me. The terminal is around here somewhere. See you later. Goodbye. Find the data. Which is right here. Download data and it went away because I pushed the force to be draw and the thingies are no longer true. Return to the NPC. Hello, how's it going? I've got the data for you here. Thanks for getting my data for me. Have some money. See you later. Goodbye. And again, neither time I, I didn't get any experience either time because I'm already level 30, as always. So that is a slightly more detailed quest of slightly more detailed dialogue as well. Uh, hopefully that was useful. I'll uh, continue the quest of quests. This one uh, just popped into my head while uh, I was doing the one yesterday. I thought it was a good, pretty good quest. Uh, quest idea, tutorial idea, so uh, thank you for watching, hopefully that was useful, and uh, goodbye.